Left out this morning from New Hampshire, from Pennsylvania. Gonna go up here for about four days, ride the uh, trails up there. I think they're called the uh, Wilds Trails. It's all near Jericho State Park. We're staying in a town of Milan, Sunshine Valley Camping. Never been up here riding north of PA, except for New York. So anxious to see what it's like in New Hampshire. I've been up in New Hampshire on the motorcycle a bunch of times uh, for the Laconia Rally, just riding through, scenery, it's a beautiful state up in the White Mountains. And that's where we'll be staying. And uh, we'll even get to ride the side by sides to the top of Mount Washington. So that's cool. Only ever been up there on the bike a couple of times. It's a great summit to get to. I guess like a couple of times a year, like three dates of the year, they allow side by sides or ATVs up there. So we have tickets and we're gonna go. Friday morning here at Sun Valley RV Park. Just woke up, got my hot cocoa. It's 42 degrees outside. Brisk. First time of the year for feeling like this, so it's a little chilly. Got the machines. Mine's still in the trailer. We have to drive, we have to trailer them over to Mount Washington at the base, and then you get to unload and drive up to the top. It's the worst recorded weather, I think in the world, is on top of that mountain. So when we get there, uh, we'll see if we're even allowed to the top because if it's bad weather, they don't let you go up. 6,288 feet to the top of Mount Washington. That's not high to all you West Coast people. I know the Rockies, Pikes Peak's 14,100 some odd or whatever. And I've been to the top of that too. And yeah, they need oxygen. You won't need oxygen where we're going. Going through the town of Berlin here and hopefully it comes through on camera. There are these piles of stone out in that river see them there and they have wood crates looking like piled on top of them next weekend here in berlin i guess there's uh some kind of fire festival where they light all of those pyres on fire uh, i guess it was some kind of way to divide the types of wood uh, there was a wall there or something somebody said I'm not sure i don't know how they did that but supposedly that's what those piles those are man-made piles of rocks and that was to divide the wood out uh, when they would float the logs down for logging way back in the day. Now it's all done with trucking. Four of us got Tabitha and the RS1, Mike Jr. And the Wildcat and his dad is behind me in the brand new KRX. And then of course you got me in the old XP1000. The fees are really going up. It's a, a car and a driver is $45. Motorcycle is $25. A child is 9, 5 to 12 years old. And an adult passenger, $20 each seems excessive. I'm pretty sure it was only 10 bucks when I was here on the motorcycle last time. Alright, so the conditions at the top are bad. 29 degrees, 75 mile per hour winds. So, uh, we're only allowed to go halfway. That's, I mean, it all honestly makes sense, safety-wise. These things would blow over 75 mile per hour winds. That's 
hurricane force. So we'll see. We'll go up halfway and see, see what it looks like. Nice. Radiator spring, and it's called that because what if your radiator? Yeah, it's as cold as you might think. It's cold.
heat stroke. Making a way over something called the warming hut. Hut. It's a warming hut. Today has a good view, so we'll check that out. Oh, well, it's still a clear day because around the mountains, you never know what you're going to get today, weather wise. There's the windmills we were just at. It's pretty cool. You can see them from here. Solar power, cameras, that AED here. Welcome to the warming hut. Built by volunteers, funded by donations, open to all. Wow, that's, that's really nice. Dude, are you kidding? It's so warm in here. Oh yeah, still hot coals in here, baby. Damn, look at all the look at all the groups. ATV clubs. Oh, I know, I know. It's like that it's in Michigan too. This is a really nicely made board. I guess look at all that Sunshine Valley RV Park. <laughs> Well, it could be getting funneled in from the front. Yeah, it could be getting funneled in. Smoking. Your, your center tunnel. I mean, why don't we just take the whole thing off? Yeah, that thing's gonna be. Yeah, man. This thing's fucking hot. Hot. I mean, you can't even touch that. It's that hot. So the carrier must be on its way out. It's fine right now, but there's no play in it. No. Hold. Oh, that bearing, you can't even touch that motherfucker. The bearing carrier is hot. It's starting to burn grease or something in it. That's what I'm the smoke is. The center console off. That might actually work to help it out. Look at it smoking. It's so hot, it's, it's burning the WD-40 as you spray it. It's evaporating. Okay. Hey, it's um, the best you can do. Let's throw the seat in here and I'll take yeah. another quick ride. To all of our surprise, the WD-40 actually did the trick. That carrier bearing lasted the whole rest of the weekend, which was another two days of riding. It was also the next two days of riding was in the rain. That Friday that we were at Jericho State Park was the last time we even saw sunlight at all. Rainy day today, day two.
that's crazy.
is Cascade Falls. Definitely cool. So yeah, when we were up there in New Hampshire, great time. Trails go from smooth and fast and fun to bony and rocky. You know, gotta take a little bit of time. But uh, there are stretches where there is just nothing. Uh, you can ride, we rode all day Sunday and we only really got to one area of civilization that's where Log Haven was, and it was closed. So like for a lot of the trip, we got to Mount Washington, could only get up halfway. We got some sun, only about half the time did we see any kind of uh, sunlight, it was rainy otherwise. And because of that, we only got to see about half the views because of the fog and the low hanging clouds, so you didn't get to see a whole lot. So it's kind of like a whole vacation of halves. But uh, I actually want to go back. I'll go back to New Hampshire again and ride some more and maybe fill in those other halves. Maybe get all the way to top of Mount Washington, uh, get to see Log Haven and get to eat there because I still hear it's great to eat at. Definitely gonna go back. New Hampshire's a good place to ride around. It's different. It's more like touring. You're kind of sightseeing when you're up there, but uh, that's a good time too. It ain't all blitz out racing trails and it's not technical. There's really no challenging terrain at all, uh, really. But it's fun, and it's nice, and uh, just don't go if you're 72 inches wide. You won't fit.